FIDOS Management Cloud is a device management platform where administrators can view the operating status of all users and devices within the enterprise domain and set corresponding management policies. These policies can be deployed to users and devices with just one click. FIDOS Management Cloud has nearly a thousand management policies. To execute the device policy you have set up, you need to register the device first through Zero Touch Enrollment or Manual Registration. Zero Touch Enrollment means generating a silent registration image file through FIDOS Management Cloud and then flashing the image file into the FIDOS device to be registered. Once the FIDOS device is turned on and connected to the internet, it will automatically be registered to the enterprise domain. Before doing this, please make sure that your device is compatible with FIDOS and that your account has an available FIDOS Basic or Business Plus subscription. You can check this in Devices, Image List, and click on Current Subscription in the upper right corner. To start Zero Touch Enrollment, click Devices, Image List, select the top-level organization on the left, or select a specific organization department to generate the image file. Click Zero Touch Enrollment in the upper right corner, select the appropriate model and version, and then click Generate Image. A new image generation record will appear in the image list. It takes about 10 minutes to generate the image file. Please be patient. When the status of the image file changes from generating to ready, the image file can be used normally. Click more, download to download this image file to your local computer. Then, follow the flashing tutorial to flash this image file into the device, and the device will become a FIDOS device and automatically register to the enterprise domain after booting and connecting to the internet. The Zero Touch Enrollment image file you generated can be used for multiple devices and remains valid until the administrator invalidates it. To register a FIDOS device to the enterprise, you must use an enterprise subscription authorization for each device registration. If there are not enough available authorizations, the device registration will not be successful. 